Hey, what's up, chicas? How's everybody doing? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing good. So today we're going to be working with this design. So then let's get started. We're going to be using peach buns from my nude collection. We're also going to be using this neon green, which is called Green Lightning. And last but not least, we're going to be using fireflies. So all of these acrylics, glitters, nudes, whatever, they're going to be on my Etsy shop. Link is in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. So as you guys can see here, I already had my tips glued on and prepped for this video and design. And these tips are also on my Etsy shop, you guys. These are my new coffin tips. These are the extra long coffin tips. They are not C-curve. They do not have a C-curve. I know um, a lot of you have been having kind of problems with adhering those C-curves because of the intense a C curve that they have these do not have it you guys as of right now um i think i only have the natural ones if by any chance i might have one or two of the clear ones you guys but i'm literally almost sold out on those so if you guys are wanting to get your hands on these go fast as, go as fast as you can you guys because honestly i'm running out so i am almost selling out on the tips i also have bling boxes I have the red, the AB one, and the emerald. I know a lot of you had been asking for emerald, so that's why I have it on stock. But everything, you know, go and check out my description box. The link to my Etsy shop will be there, you guys. But yeah, anyway, as you guys can see here, I'm applying the fireflies, my glitter. And um, this one, you guys, I'm going to be applying it on the pinky on the middle nail and also my thumb and for this i'm using a number 12 brush which is from penna you can find it on amazon and it'll be linked in the description box below so yes you guys as you guys know already we do have the new packaging already in i already packaged all of my other um orders on the new packaging for the acrylics and oh my god they just look so cute I don't know if you guys have seen it. I've posted it here on the community from YouTube. Also, I've posted it on Instagram. So, yeah, I am super excited because, um, like I had told you before, I didn't really like the last packaging that I had, the light pink one. I, it wasn't all that great. I didn't really like it. So, now that I have my new packaging in for the containers, I am super, super, super excited. And I really hope you guys like it, too. So yeah, chicas, you'll be receiving um, the new your acrylics on the new packaging. If you are purchasing the old um, my old collections, you will be probably receiving them in the old packaging. It's just how I had packaged them already, so I just decided to you know sell them as how they were. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, the new like my new collections will be in the new packaging and my old collections will be on the old packaging so i really hope you guys don't mind remember i marked them down for five dollars you guys my old acrylics are for five dollars so if you guys are really interested in getting some good quality but cheap uh products go to my etsy shop so yeah <laughs> so yeah you guys right here i'm just gonna be doing an ombre and i'm starting off by doing a marble so as you guys can see i started off marbling the clear and the lime green or the neon green and i just place a little bleed a little bead i'm sorry of the clear and then i go in with green so that i can create kind of like a marbly effect using the clear so i really like that effect you guys and then i'm gonna also be doing the exact same step on the index finger and then my thumb like i said will be all glitter so i'm just gonna let you guys watch this whole process honestly i don't, I don't really have anything to to tell you guys or you know nothing really so again my videos will not be sped up because i, I have a lot of beginners here so i really want you guys to learn something from my channel and see exactly how i work so it's not sped up or anything everything will be in real time so i'm just gonna let you guys watch this and i'll be back
Okay, chicas, so now that we have capped and we have filed and we have cleaned and everything, the nails are ready to go so that we can create this cow print. I don't know, you guys, I just wanted some summery cow prints with neon colors. So I just had this in mind and I decided to do it. So as you guys can see here, I start off with a white painting gel. You can use whatever you have in hand. It doesn't have to be what I'm using. This is just a little um, pot that I found on eBay. You could just type in in the search bar painting gel or nail painting gels and I'm sure they're going to pop right up. Um, and these are really good because they're more pigmented than, than um, gel polish. But if you don't have these, again, you can use gel polish. It doesn't have to be what I'm using. Again, you can also use... Um, Acrylic paint. Acrylic paint works perfect on nails if you like to freehand stuff. It's just really good to use on nails. So yeah, you guys can just use whatever you have. And right here, as you guys can see, I just did like a side, kind of like a side fringe, but not really. Um, just kind of using a, like a gel brush. And then I just added the white. And then now I'm going to be going in with the black because I'm going to be making the little black cow prints. Um, so I'm just using a dotting tool for this before I started with the black you want to make sure you go and cure that in the lamp because if you go in with your black you're gonna make a big mess so just cure your white and once it comes out of the lamp go in with your black and remember that cow prints are not perfect so they don't have to be perfect just try and do you know some little shapes here and there and I'm sure it's gonna start looking kind of cute so yeah you guys after you're done with that go ahead and cure it in the lamp i did this for the pinky the middle and my thumb And then I went in with a little bit of bling. You could never go wrong with bling. So I just adhered some AB crystals and some green crystals using my Zole adhesive, which is bomb for crystals. I have the link in the description box below. Go and check that out. And I'm just going to be adhering them, like I said. And these are AB and some lime green ones. So now for top coat, I'm going to be using the one from Not Polish. You guys know this one is 
bomb.com so we do have a discount code with not polish if you guys are interested link and coupon code will be in the description box below so i'm almost running out and i'm kind of bummed out but oh well i can always go and stock up on it <laughs> so i'm just gonna top coat everything i decided to make them very shiny so i'm gonna be adding a little thin coat all over the nails and then i'm gonna cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds once it comes out of the lamp you want to make sure you add your cuticle oil please never for forget your cuticle oil that is essential you guys whenever you finish your set because it just rehydrates everything it rehydrates your cuticles how they're supposed to be so just make sure you don't forget that step So this is the end result. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I honestly think it looks really cute. Summer nails with a little cow print. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for being here today. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop. Stay safe. God bless and bye-bye.